welcome to Barrack Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2019 MY20 Mitsubishi Outlander LS. Now being the LS model, it is a mid-spec, so it does come with a few added features and benefits and in my opinion, it's probably one of the better for value um, small uh, SUVs on the market, especially uh, for cars like this. So what we'll do is run through the condition on the outside as well as the features that does come in the stunning model. Now starting off at that front end, you've got the new updated dynamic shield look that Mitsubishi has incorporated into all of their cars. So you've got that nice chrome finish on the outside, outer skirts of that front grille, beautiful piano black gloss in the front and a lot of different textures and materials used just to break it up but also give a bit of detail and draw a lot of attention to the front of the car. And the headlights are a nice sharp sleek design that do also integrate into the whole look of that front bar and you've, these headlights do have a projector globe in there with your high beam light and your indicator lamp fitted just on the inside as well as a daytime running lamp that runs just under the headlight there to improve the visibility during the day. This car also comes fitted with fog lamps just in the front bar there which is going to make it a lot easier for you to drive around on those cloudy foggy mornings as it was a couple of days ago. Now coming over to that first alloy wheel we've got that stunning multi-spoke design that has that gunmetal finish on the outside with that polished, uh, polished aluminium finish on the inside just to give it a very contrasty look but also gives it a nice effect when the car is actually rolling. So beautiful design. Now the rim itself is in excellent condition and you've got lots and lots of tread remaining on those Toyo tires which are the factory tires that come from this car. Now as we look across the car just make sure you pay attention to the paintwork because this car has been looked after really well by the previous owner. Um, it's been cleaned and the paint is in excellent condition and what we'll do just taking a look at the driver's side door you do notice that the car comes with color match side mirrors and door handles that blend in beautifully with the car and in the side mirror itself does come with the indicator lamp fitted in there now that actually clears up the quarter panel for you over here but it also elevates the lamp for the other passengers on the road. Now one thing I will note if you take a look at the windows is these ones are a little bit lighter than your rear windows. Now this is just a privacy glass which is to improve the privacy of the car, stop people from looking in and peeking as a lot of people are curious these days but it doesn't actually provide much UV protection so do highly recommend you speak to us about our glass coat uh, and tint options which I will elaborate a bit more as we go through the video but please talk to us about the tint options. Now the car does have a keyless entry, there's a little button there, the side mirrors do fold in and fold out when the car is locked so opening up the driver's side door and having a look inside the car itself. As I said, the LS model comes with this beautiful suede leather finish on the seats and in my opinion, it's probably the more comfortable seats in the series of the Outlanders. A very nice finish um, and nice soft leather and the bolsters are in very good condition. The carpet mats still present really well. There is a little bit of sand just from us moving the car, but they are in good condition. And the inner, inner door frame here, completely undamaged, unmarked. Generally, you tend to see a lot of wear and tear there. And the door card, again, presents in excellent condition as, it, as considered in the mileage, you'd expect it to be pretty well looked after. Now taking a look in the back seats of the car, you can see just how much space this comes with. You still get the continued suede and leather finish all through all seven seats on the car, which is good to know. It's not just for the drivers and passengers, everyone gets to enjoy the comfort features. USB slots in the back there for any additional charging and two vents as well. And I'll show you one other thing with these cars, it's very easy to actually drop these seats. So if I just reach in under here, you can pull that out like so. And this little lever here, if you pull that down, these seats will actually fall flat. So if you do need to utilize the whole boot, you can do that quite easily. And these back seats drop down pretty flat as well. So just putting this back up and flick it in like so. Very easy to assemble and disassemble. So coming to the tailgate of the Outlander, you've got this beautiful brake light that covers across the back end. Very big, bold lights just to give that clear indication for the other drivers. And it does also come fitted with the high mounted brake light just under that roof spoiler. Rear wipers and washers. And on the tailgate, on the rear bar there, as you can see, they, are, they have fitted color match rear parking sensors which blend in beautifully, but it is gonna help you park a vehicle like this. However, it does come with, fitted with the reverse camera just under there. Now to open up the tailgate, and have a look in the back end. As I said, the rear seats fold flat. You can pull them up quite easily just with that little lever um, and they will drop flat just with that latch on top. And another additional 12 volt socket in the back, two cup holders and a little bit of storage over there. And underneath this compartment is your cargo blind that is gonna improve the privacy as well if you store things in the back of the car and a bit of additional storage underneath. 
Now you're probably wondering where the spare wheel is. Spare wheel is mounted under the bottom here. There is a little bolt that you can screw um, or unscrew from that point there which is going to drop that spare wheel. As we come across the passenger side, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side of the car which is the safe side. So if you do have to pull over in case of an emergency, you know you're going to be looked after, uh, well protected from any possible oncoming traffic. Now the third alloy again presents pretty well. There is a very minor gash here but nothing too concerning. The rim itself still presents really well. No, no, no damage anywhere else and you've got plenty of tread remaining on those tires. Now paintwork on this side is consistent, has been maintained really well and in that pearlescent metallic finish you do want to make sure you're protected and that's where that glass coat is going to come in action. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to maintain and it's going to keep that same, same shiny look all through um, the lifetime of the car. Now that fourth and final rim, generally this is the side that gets a bit more damage as it is the side of the curb. There is a very uh, minor gash just on the top end of the rim there but the rest of the rim presents really well and you've got great tread on those tyres. So for reasonable rims you've got plenty of tread on the tyres, the paintwork is exceptional all around the car and the interior condition is phenomenal. What we're going to do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside. Taking a look inside the engine bay of the Outlander, as you can see, it's beautifully designed, very well laid out, a lot of space to work around the car, and the way the design is, is actually improved the safety of the car. So, as you can see, there is a lot of room there. Now, the benefit of that system that we have here is that if the car was to meet in a collision, this engine is actually gonna drop under the car, which is good, and it's not gonna crush the cabin. So, a lot of safety for all the passengers inside the car. Now, this motor itself is a four-cylinder, 2.4-liter petrol motor. It is fitted with a six-speed automatic gearbox, so you know the ride's gonna be really nice and smooth. Um, um, but it's also, also going to provide you that power and torque when you do need it. Now this motor itself produces 124 kilowatts of 220 newton meters of torque. So plenty of torque and power for any payload needs. As I said, it is a petrol car with a 63 litre capacity fuel tank. It does run on your regular 91 fuel. It does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres and an average fuel distance of 875 kilometres off a full tank, depending on how you drive and how many people are in the car. Okay, taking a look inside the Outlander now. As I said before, it is the LS model, so it does have a few little extra features and it is a lot nicer to actually sit in and be in. Now, starting off on the driver's side door, you can see lots of different materials used just to break it up, make it a little bit more, bit of, uh, little bit more interesting, I should say. Now, on the driver's side door, on this armrest here, you've got a nice leather stitch armrest at the back and up here near the... Um, compartment so window locks on so you got full automatic windows all four windows are fully automatic up and down which is nice to know window lock control is just above that and your central locking button just next to that above that are your toggles for your side mirrors and there is a little button that can fold them in if you are sitting inside the car however as I mentioned before when you do lock the car they will also fold in now on the right side of the dash few little safety features that do come in this model so that first one on the far right there is your forward collision mitigation next to that is your lane departure warning and your parking sensor button now, if you did need a bit more information about this, please ask us when you do come in. However, we will elaborate as to what these are and the benefits of them. So, um, yeah, please make sure you have some questions when you come in. Now, above that are a few little extra buttons. So, this one is to change the display, which is in the head unit there. And that gives you average fuel consumption, your next service, and a few other little information for the, a uh, few other little bits of information for the driver. Um, next that is a stability control and an adjuster for the height of the headlights. So if you feel like your headlights are tilting up a little bit, you can adjust them down just so you're not blinding people. Now on the right hand stock are your left and right indicators, your uh, fog lamp controls, and your high beam with your headlights. Now the headlights and the high beam are an automatic um, dusk sensing system so you can just leave it in auto and the car is going to decide when it needs to turn the headlights on and this little button at the end here will in, uh, activate your auto high beam. On the left hand side are your wipers and washers for your front and rear and again they are automatic rain sensing systems so very nice and easy to use this car. The steering wheel itself is a very beautiful design you've got uh, again lots of different materials you've got a nice leather stitch on the outside with this beautiful black piano black um, sorry gloss black finish plate on the inside just adds a bit of texture and detail on the right hand side are all the cruise control settings with your adaptive cruise control and speed limiter and on the left hand side are your media controls so volume mode and your seek buttons with your call reject and voice control for your carplay systems um, key, um, this is a keyless entry car as i mentioned before so to start stop button is just there sorry for all my mumbling and stuttering there. Um, on the head unit itself, being the MY20 model, it does come with an updated head unit, so it is a little bit bigger and a nicer display and a lot more easier to use. So this is the home page here. Multimedia will 
obviously take you into your radio. So you've got digital radio, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth connectivity, iPod, and um, if you did have your phone connected, everything will run through that. Bluetooth connectivity for your phone and apps for your CarPlay systems. Below that is your climate control. So dual climate control driver and passenger have their own settings, all the fan speeds and modes below that, and hazards nice and easy to access right in the middle of that head unit. Below that, there's a little compartment here, which is actually for your keys. So if your battery does die, you can put that in there and start the car. Um, a 12 volt socket for any additional charging, not a cigarette lighter as we don't encourage people to smoke in the cars. A USB input for your CarPlay system and an eco mode button which is going to improve the efficiency of the car, the fuel economy. Got two, uh, two cup holders which with the rubber lighting you can take that out if you need to and it does um, hide away nice and neatly. Now the gear shifter is a nice leather stitch gear shifter. If I bring that into reverse and we take a look up here, you get that beautiful reverse camera in this model. You can see the rear bar at the bottom there nice and clearly. If you do get a tow bar fitted that will sit just there and you can see that quite clearly in, this, um, in the image. Putting that back up to park. Behind that is your electric park brake system with the auto hold. Again, we can elaborate as to how to use this if you do, when you do come in. A bit of storage, maybe you can keep your key in there if you do use your key, um, or with some coins. And nice leather stitch center console armrest. And if I lift that up, you can see the kind of storage that you get in this. So you can probably fit some gloves, wallet, a few other things in there. So I'll get the camera person to actually pan around the interior of the car to show you the condition because it has been looked after really well. The car is very clean. Um, the seats are in excellent condition and the roof lining is still uh, in that nice beigey gray color. So what we're going to do now is actually jump outside and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2019 MY20 Mitsubishi Outlander LS. I hope this gave you a good representation as to the condition of the car and also some of the features that does come in this stunning model. Now, if you did have any additional questions in regards to the car, wanted to test drive it or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. Now, the number to dial is 9907055. Just before I go though, this car does qualify for our Platinum One program. Now what that will offer you is five years extended protection, like for like new car warranty, up to 200,000 kilometers. And it comes with the added benefit of 10 years Platinum roadside assistance, a great, great value for money, especially if you do plan on keeping this car for a long time. In addition to that, I do highly recommend you take advantage of the glass coat and tint option, which is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful um, titanium paintwork, as well as the tint, which is going to give you a lot of protection for the passengers inside the car. Now, these are at an additional cost. However, if you are using Ainas Finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just our minimal diesel effective repayments. Now, lastly, but most importantly, please hop online and check out our Google reviews. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan, and thank you so much for watching.